my name is Lanny Mitchell. I'm a First Nations nurse practitioner from Akwesasne. Uh, so my question is, um, the concern that I have on a First Nations is that when the recreational uh, stores are open, those stores are not going to be taxed. And coming from Akwesasne, there was a lot of issues with the smuggling trade when cigarettes had the non-taxed issue. So um, I guess, is there any kind of discussion related to that with the First Nations or where is it going? And how do you prevent the same thing happening with the marijuana trade that's happened with the cigarettes and smuggling? Uh, no, seriously, thank, thanks so much for the question. Um, I, I don't want to re repeat kind of every, everything I said this morning. I know everybody wants to get to lunch. Um, the, the AFN, the Cannabis Task Force, um, uh, regional and community interest uh, around some of the questions that you've just asked, right? Around um, um, the uh, uh, question, questions of enforcement, which is, is really kind of fundamentally what you're asking about when you, you draw the, the, the comparison back to the, the tobacco situation. Um, there are a number of provincial legislation th that have been presented that, that create opportunities to have conversations about um, uh, retail stores licensed by bank councils on First Nations land. There's a really, really active conversation that we're engaged in with the AFN, with communities, trying to work through a, a lot of these questions. So it's kind of a process answer. Um, but I'd say I th uh, over the last four or five, six months, I think, um, we've, we've gone to about 45 different community visits uh, or community meetings to talk exactly about these types of issues. I think we were actually in Akwesasne a couple of months ago. Um, so all that to say, we're not um, blind to the questions that you've asked. They're deeply complex. There's really will get resolved through a lot of a lot more dialogue, and we're pretty pretty committed to doing that. Whether it's through the AFN or directly to communities and regional organizations, we're we're all in.